Hi there, Tony Sycamore here, IG's market analyst for Australia. Critical Australian third quarter inflation data this morning has come in significantly hotter than expected at both a headline and at a core level. The most significant contributors to the rise were automotive fuel, rents, new dwellings purchased by owner occupiers, and electricity prices. Automotive fuel rose 7.2% in the quarter, which is the largest quarterly rise since March 2020-22. And that rise was caused mainly by global higher oil prices. Yields in response on Australian bills and bonds have rallied sharply. And we are now seeing the rates market price in an expectation of around 60% for a 25 basis point rate hike in November from the RBA, which would take the RBA's official cash rate to 4.35%. We think that after today's hotter than expected data, and given the RBA's more hawkish communique since the October RBA minutes last week, that we will see the RBA indeed raise rates on November the 7th. Now, if we zoom in and take a look at what it means for the chart, starting with the Aussie dollar, you can see here that the Aussie dollar has broken below some downtrend resistance coming in from this 68.94 high, which I am now zooming in here at this point of time. The resistance today came in around 63.85, 63.80-ish. And as you can see, the Aussie dollar has been up to around 64 cents on that run up post that CPI inflation data. You can see here as well that the Aussie dollar has a triple low sitting down around 62.85. So my view is that while the Aussie sits above this 62.85 triple low, and while it looks to be set to take on this 64 cent area, it can push up towards 64.50, uh, which is this high here from October the 11th. Above there, well, that becomes a little bit more uncertain because we do have geopolitical tensions playing out. But we do know that there's a very good layer of resistance coming in around 65.20. You can see there's uh, three or four highs here around 65.20. And that seems like quite a stretch at this point of time, even though we are seeing a more hawkish RBA up against a more dovish Federal Reserve. We do know that the Fed is likely to stay on hold in November. Now, what does it mean for the ASX 200? Well, while uh, expectations of rate rises are supportive of the Aussie in the initial instance, it's not so good for the ASX 200. And you can see here that after a good start this morning, the ASX 200 is down trading on its lows. There is some support coming in around 68.30 from the low back on Monday of this week. But by and large, what you're seeing here is concerning price action. And if you recall, we put out a bullish tactical call on the ASX 200 up against these year-to-date lows. Now, that bullish tactical call was pre October the 7th and the tragic events in the Middle East. But the view there was that the ASX 200 was going to form a base somewhere ahead of year-to-date lows before a rebound up towards range highs. Well, as we now know that uh, soaring bond yields and those geopolitical tensions have turned that view on its head in, somewhat, in, in some respects. And given the fact that we're now seeing a sustained close below this horizontal support coming in around 6870 to 6900, it's probably a good time to move to the sidelines and to reassess that bullish view. Keeping in mind, we still do have a pretty positive picture in the S&P 500. And if the ASX 200 was to rebound back up into these ranges, uh, this 6900 range, which we've seen uh, with 7500, the top of the range, then we could always reopen that bullish tactical view. Thank you for listening and have a good day ahead. 